I'm going to show you how to make realistic corner isometric text in Kittle right now. So I just have a building picture I grabbed from the photos panel. You could use anything. You could use different walls, brick walls, whatever. You can add text with the T button. And I'm going to type in corner here to show you two different methods for getting the corner isometric effect. I've made it yellow so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Now the first effect is using the angle transformation. Now this is not the best way to do this. So just stick with me so I can explain why. I'm going to make this all caps because the effect is a lot better if you use all caps type and as I make this bigger using the angle transformation you can see that it, it kind of does give this effect so I can keep moving this around the angles to try to get it precise but no matter how much you try it's not going to be perfect and let me show you why so I'm just going to add two basic lines and I'm going to set it to red because this is how perspective works this is how your eye kind of sees things that are close and far away so if I put this here on the very center you can see the line at that length and if I put it down here towards the C, you can see it's definitely smaller. So the d distance between the window pane there is a lot smaller, yet with the angle transformation on, all of the letters are the same size. So let me show you a different method. What we're going to do is just actually rotate the text. Now stay with me, I know this doesn't look good, but we're going to rotate the text to be quite similar to the angle of whatever you're trying to put the text on and then I'm going to use distort and all you need to do is take the corner angles and map them to the designated area that you want to use so you see how I'm filling in the window panels by moving these little anchor points around and then I can use the top and bottom ones to get them precisely correct now this is going to take some tweaking it's a little longer than the first method I showed you but it's going to give you a much more accurate representations so to further the effect what you can also do is start to lower the opacity of the text which kind of makes it look like it's mapped on so up here in the opacity section you can try different percents I tried 70 at first it was a little too much I bumped it to 85 and that's pretty good it also kind of works with how the lighting there is different I'm gonna duplicate it and do the exact same thing on the other side again using that transformation that distort transformation and mapping it to be pretty precise here and then if you want to go further in changing the color you can change one to be a little darker and one to be a little bit lighter to further the effect now another really really cool thing is if I select both of these text boxes together I can go through and choose any font that I want and the effect will stay the same I've already done the mapping I've already done the distorting and now you can go through and pick one that's gonna work best for you so I hope you have a ton of fun with the corner text transformation